Thank you for your testimony. And sir, introduce yourself and, and uh, give us your name and give us your testimony. My name is Wei Li, Honorable Chair, Chairman, nice. Honorable T Committee Members. Uh, you guys have the awesome stamina, especially uh, Chairman. You have five hours now, you haven't used the restroom <laughs> yet. Uh, so thank you very much for your service. Um, I came to the U.S. in 2006 on a student visa. After completing my doctoral and postdoctoral training, I moved to Texas in 2012. And I have been working as a professor since then. On March 22nd, 2023, as three weeks from today, I will be finally eligible to apply for U.S. citizens. That will be 17 years after I moved to the U.S. Long journey. But deep down, I know I'm already a Texan, long while ago. I can cook perfect, moist brisket. I even understand how to use Bless Your Heart properly. But SB 147 and SB 711 are a slap on my face. It scoffs at me. Sorry, you're not Texan. People like you will not even deserve to own a home. I'm raising four young Texans, proudly. SB 147 and SB 711, also a slap on my children's faces. They're proud to be American because they believe in America. No one can treat you differently because of the color of your skin or because of where you were born. In every morning assembly, very loudly and proudly, they say, with liberty and justice for all. But with these two bills, it becomes with liberty and justice, not for all, except for, for people like my mom and dad. It's not American way of doing business. It's not definitely not Texan. This bill will hurt Texas like opening up Pandora's box. It will discourage many, many immigrants to come to the U.S. And that is a huge loss for Texas. Thank you. 天下又指什么事儿了